Plateaus are not real. In fact, if you're not growing, you're dying. And what we need to talk about today is how to break through any of these seemingly huge plateaus, in quotes, that most people are going through. When it feels like you're in a plateau, what it actually means is that the growth curve has stopped happening and you feel like you're moving backwards. Don't worry, this is totally normal. We're gonna show you how to break through it today. Welcome to the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast. My name is Brad Bizjak, I'm a mindset strategist and coach, inspirational speaker and creator of appreciation. Appreciation Academy. This is the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast. Where you're going to break through everything holding you back from the life that you really want. We're here to help you maximize your life, to help you elevate your mindset, your relationships, your career to a level beyond anything you ever thought possible. And that's what we're doing here today. And so I want you to ask yourself as we start this, have you ever found yourself in a place where it feels like you've been trying for so long and maybe things were going well for a little bit, but then they kind of, in quotes, plateaued. They kind of slowed down and it kind of feels like you're losing momentum and you might even be losing joy. You might start to feel a little bit of a struggle. You start to feel a little bit overwhelmed and it's almost like there's this death grip and like this grasping to try to think, get things back to where it was. If that is the case, I'm going to share with you a hard truth right now, but the good news is that this truth is totally reversible. And that is you're not at a plateau. What's actually true is that you're starting to die. The uh, the business, the career, the ideas, they're starting to die a little bit because if you are not growing, you feel like you're dying, but it's normal. Everyone goes through it. And so it kind of is like you're going up on a chart and then things start to go down. Well, when things go down, if you keep doing the same things, when things are going down, you will continue to go down. Just because something worked before does not mean that it's going to continue working. What I see happen all the time, so many people will try this one idea or this one strategy and it will work really well for a while. It'll work really well maybe with your warm market or it will work really well with your health and wellness or whatever it is, but times change, seasons change, people change, seasonality, kids, all this stuff, it changes. So what was working before might not work in the same way that it, that it used to. And what's incredibly important is when that happens, you pivot and you adjust. If you are not willing to pivot and adjust when things start to go downhill, you're going to get eaten alive. You're going to find yourself stuck in a spot where they, it just seems like this is the way it is. It seems like there's no way out. And so what I want to share with you today are five ways that you can break through that quote unquote plateau, which is not a plateau. It's actually a sign that things are dying. I'm going to show you how to break through that so you can come back to life, so you can feel vitally alive. Most people are using these five things the same way and the same way they used to. These five things we're going to go through, these five things, most people are using them the exact same way. In fact, if you want to find out how you're currently using them, I have a quiz. It's called What's Your Unique Success Archetype? It's totally free. It takes like six seconds and it will show you exactly how you're currently using these five things to get to where you want to go and you're going to see how it might be limiting you based on where you're in life right now so we've linked that up below go check out that quiz it's free it takes 60 seconds it's super super helpful super valuable so what are these five things when you're in a place where you feel like you're at a plateau we need to discover how to break through that whenever you want it's really really simple there are five ways number one new voices new voices if you are hearing the same message over and over and over again, normally that's a beautiful thing, right? Repetition is the mother of skill. And so if you have a, you know, a program that you've been diving into and you hear the same thing over and over and over again, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're in what you feel is a plateau, you need a new injection of voices. Just, have you ever been in a situation where you're feeling kind of stuck, then you go to a conference and you get some guy or some girl's take on how to do something and it's completely different from what you're used to and it kind of lights you on fire again and you go after it in a different way? Why? Because there's a different way of thinking being entered into your mind and whatever comes in your eyes and your ears will come out your mouth. Let me repeat that. Whatever comes in your eyes and your ears will come out your mouth. So if you don't have new voices coming in, well then what's coming out your mouth is the same thing you've always done, which means people are reacting to you the same way they've always reacted to you, which means that they're either getting bored or they're getting burnt out. They need something new. They need some sort of innovation. This, in fact, all business is marketing and innovation. Innovation is finding new creative ways to meet your, 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 uh, to meet your client's needs. That's innovation. Finding new creative ways to meet their needs. Marketing is getting people to care about it. 
That's all it is. That's your entire business. If you own a business, that's it. In fact, you can use that with anything in relationship, anything. It's all marketing and innovation, new ways to meet someone's needs and new ways to get someone to care about it. Well, you need new voices if that's going to happen. Let me give you an example. We were trying to reach people with our program, our Appreciation Academy program for a long time and it wasn't working. We were trying these different webinar techniques, trying to serve people, trying to help people and it wasn't working. And I was in this spot where I felt like I was in a plateau. I felt like I was in a plateau, but I was actually dying. My business was actually dying. And so I bought a book called Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. It was a new voice, a voice I hadn't yet heard, teaching a different technique, a different strategy, a new voice on how to do webinars. I applied it and it did hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue for our company just because of a new voice. Instantly got quote unquote unstuck, even though no one's ever actually stuck. Stuck just means that you're running the same pattern over and over and over again to try try to solve the problem that was created by the pattern you're running. Better said, if you're feeling stuck, you're trying to solve the problem with the same emotional pattern that created it. So you're not actually stuck, you're just using the same technique. And so with Russell's book, I learned how to do webinars in a different way and it changed everything because I got a new voice. So I want you to check yourself. Are you using the exact same voices that you've always used to try to solve the problem where you feel stuck? That's number one. Number two, new passions. Let me give you a story. One of my dear friends, her name is Janelle. She's an Appreciation Academy client of ours. She was trying to grow her online business to create more freedom for her family but she was on her phone glued to it like six, seven hours a day. Felt like she could never get ahead and she felt so stuck. She felt like she couldn't get anywhere. And I asked her, you know, what are you really passionate about? What do you like, like outside of work, what do you really love? And she, she's an equestrian. She loves riding horses. She's had a horse for 17 years. And so I was like, when's the last time you've just gone and rode your horse and just enjoyed it and unplugged totally and did something that you were passionate about, something that you loved. She was like, well, I've been able to do them so long because I felt so stuck in my business that I've been trying to get ahead and it hasn't been working. I feel like I can reward myself after I get done with, with building this or after I see some progress. And I challenged her. I said, I want you to unplug every day and go ride your horse for a couple hours. Every day. Go unplug and ride your horse. She plugged into a new passion. Well, in this case, an old passion, but a passion she hasn't vi- hadn't visited in a while. She plugged into that new passion. And all of a sudden, within just a couple days, She had so many new ideas, so much new creativity because she plugged into a passion that was unrelated to what she was doing. And so I'm curious, are you just sitting there obsessed over your business over and over and over and over again, not able to get ahead because you're just staring at it? Go do something that excites you. Do something you're passionate about. Do something new. And you'll start to notice new ideas start to come to you so much faster than they ever have before. That's number two. Flooding your mind with new passions, almost getting your mind off of what you're stuck in. And when you get it off of what you're stuck in, you clear your head and new creativity flows to you. So where are you at with that? Are you doing things you're passionate about on a regular basis? Are you going hiking? Are you riding your horse? Are you building Legos with your kids? Whatever it is, do something you're passionate about and you'll notice new creativity to change your business, to change your life, start to flood in. Number three, new questions. This is a big one. Your life is a direct reflection of the expectations of your peer group, but even more powerfully than your peer group, those are your voices, are the questions you ask yourself. So better said, your life is a direct reflection of the expectations your peer of your peer group or or I should say, and the quality of the questions you ask yourself on a regular basis. So if you're flooding your life with new voices, new peers, new people, new mentors, that's great. But if you have that, but you're also flooding your mind with the same questions, you're gonna feel it kind of cancel out. Instead, yes, flood your mind with new voices, but you wanna flood your mind with new questions. For example, one of the greatest reasons why I see so many people stuck is because they're obsessed with why they're stuck. They're looking for, why am I stuck? Why can't I be consistent? Why don't I follow through? And they focus on what they don't want, which is why they're stuck, instead of looking for what they actually want, which is the growth. So I want you to sit down and ask yourself, what questions am I asking myself each day? What questions am I asking myself? Are they focused on the problem or are they focus on the dream? the ideal. If your questions you're asking yourself are focused on the problem, meaning let's use an example of why am I so fat or why am I so broke or why can't I save money, right? When you say things like that, it's kind of like you're beating yourself up and success does not build on self-punishment. It only builds on success. 
And so if you're asking yourself these negative questions, you're going to find an answer. If you ask, why am I so fat? Your brain will go, because you're a pig. That's what it will say. But if you say, why is it so easy to be vitally alive and healthy? You find the answer. Why is it so easy to eat vegetables today? You find the answer. Because you ask yourself new questions. I mean, seriously, ask yourself, like, if you had the question on a post-it note in front of your, on your car dashboard that said, why is it so easy to fall in love with my spouse again today? And you read that every single day before you walked in the door coming home from work. What would change about how you greeted your spouse? A lot. Why? Because it's new questions. Instead of why am I so tired from work? It's how can I give my spouse love or how can I fall in love with my spouse again? It floods your mind with something different. It's new. And so if your life is a direct reflection of the quality of the questions you ask and you're at a plateau or plateau in quotes, you feel like you're dying. Well, ask yourself what questions you're asking yourself when you feel like you're dying. And if you flip those questions to something empowering and ask yourself new questions, everything will start to change. Does that make sense? That is number three, new questions. Number four, new projects. New projects. I see this all the time. People are told, just do these behaviors and you will be successful, right? And those behaviors are so freaking boring to someone. Why are they boring? Because they're mundane, they're monotonous. They're not something that has a completion date. They're not something that you can measure. They're just something that you do each day. And I'm not saying that different tasks aren't required to make sure you get your job done. What I'm saying is, if you don't have a project that you're creating right now, you're going to start to get bored. And when you start to get bored, you're going to get burnt out. And when you get burnt out, you're going to become resentful of the vehicle that was supposed to be your key to freedom. So many people are going through and just checking the boxes of what they're supposed to do or in network marketing, what their upline told them to do or whatever it is. And you just feel so bored from it over and over and over again doing the same thing. It's because there's no project. There's no exciting creative idea. Right? When's the last time you did a free video series for your prospects and tried to convert them to sales at the end? When's the last time you did a webinar? When's the last time you did a, a glimpse into your network marketing business? When's the last time you tried to create a webinar to sell your online course? When's the last time you created a membership site? When's the last time you did these new creative things that you don't know how to do? And let me ask you, if you haven't, why? Is it because you're waiting for someone else to tell you to do it? If you're waiting for someone else to tell you to do it, then you're taking responsibility away from you to change your life and you're putting it onto someone else. You are responsible for your life. Just like you are responsible for your business, you are responsible for your finances, you are responsible for every single part of it. So you're not gonna know how it's gonna go, but all business is created on projects. If you are not creating new projects, new ideas, you're just gonna get bored and you're gonna feel like you're in a plateau when really you're dying. So pick a project. How many projects have you worked on in the last two, three months? If you're like most people, the answer is none. You've just been checking boxes. Work on projects and you will find, okay, this is something I'm going to try to do. We're going to see how it works. You're going to notice new ideas, new creativity starting to come to you because you're working on something creative and something new. So if you want to break out of this quote unquote plateau, otherwise this trail to death, Try a new project you've never tried before. You'll notice things start to change very, very quickly. And finally, number five. This is a big one. New goals. If you are not striving after your big dreams and your big goals with every ounce of who you are, it's a sign that your goals don't excite you. Likely, your goals were given to you by someone else or they're what your company tells you is a good idea to want. And if you're in network marketing, that's super, super common. The reason I say about network marketing is because a lot of the people that listen to this are network marketers, but you don't have to be. What are your actual goals? Not just what's the next step in your career. What do you actually want? Because if your goals are just based on what someone else told you you should want or what the company says you should want, but you don't actually have an inner fire and passion to create it, then you are gonna get burnt out and exhausted. You're gonna feel like it's never gonna happen. You're gonna see this goal and there's not gonna be that drive. You're gonna see, be like, oh, that'd be cool. But there's that voice that says, you're never gonna make that happen. But instead, if you have something super compelling, super exciting, super passionate, something that lights you up on the inside and you go after that with everything you've got, and it's something where you're like, this is what I truly want. Not just the next step, not a safe goal, but a goal that makes you go, oh my gosh. And we're going to talk about this more next week, but a goal that makes you go, oh my gosh, that is bananas. And you turn that into a project and you go after that with everything you've got. You're going to feel new creativity, new ideas spark. You're automatically going to get out of that slump. 
You're not going to feel like you're in a plateau. You're going to feel like you're electric and on fire. Why? Because all of a sudden you're being pulled instead of having to push. So if you want to break out of your quote unquote plateau, which is not a plateau, it's a sign that you're dying. You need new voices, new passions, new questions, new projects, and new goals. You do those five things, you will electrify yourself and erupt out of that plateau, quote unquote plateau, so much faster than you ever otherwise would have. Most people wait for their environment to change or for things to change in their business to get out of that. This is how you break through it right now. And if you want to know which of these five things that you're doing incorrectly, if you want to know why your brain keeps going back to why you're doing what you're doing, your, your brain keeps going back to the same old limiting pattern. Take the What's Your Unique Success Archetype quiz. It will give you a breakdown of exactly how you're currently wired and what that's doing to your predictability of success. It's gonna show you what your biggest limiting beliefs are. It's gonna show you what the consequences are if you keep that up, or if you're on the right track, it's gonna show you that too. It's gonna to give you some amazing insight into helping you break through the next level of success, and it's creepy accurate. It takes 60 seconds, totally free. It's linked up right below this. Make sure you go check out that quiz. It's called What's Your Unique Success Archetype? You can always find it at quizzes dot bradbizjack.com again that's again that's quizzes dot bradbizjack.com if you found value today please make sure you take a screenshot share this on your instagram stories tag me so i can give you a shout out back share it on instagram i'm so 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 excited that you're listening to this and if you found this helpful leave us a rating and review on itunes or spotify or whatever your streaming service is your listening services because more reviews more ratings means that more people get to hear this life-changing content so they can better their lives forever so thank you so much for tuning in to the path to mindset mastery podcast my name is brad bizjack go out there today and every day and live your life with a genuine smile on your face i'll see you next week